this year yeah and I think one good way to do that is to make sure that we have an amazing amazing Christmas program what yeah we all need to hear the story of the birth of God's son Jesus because the love Jesus comes to bring is the gift that we all need to receive what? now more than what? ever. What? Whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, oh, turtle. What? Whoa. Wait a minute. Huh? How can we possibly have a Christmas program when we can't even gather for worship? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask, Scully. Oh, our friends from Zor Luther Church have been working on this for a while. What? Yeah, and I can't wait to show you how we do our Christmas program COVID style. Crazy! Ooh. That's yeah. just crazy! Ha 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 You would just watch and see. Welcome to a Christmas pageant like no other. Oh. Hugs, 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 hugs. Okay, here we go. Christmas pageant like no other. Everyone had thought that Elizabeth, the wife of Zachariah the priest, was too old to have a child. And yet, here she was, six months pregnant, because nothing is impossible for God. Nobody knew it yet, but God was about to do an even greater miracle. In fact, it was the most amazing miracle ever, and here's how it all begun. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to a town in Galilee called Nazareth. Gabriel was sent there to deliver a message to a young woman named Mary, who was engaged to a man named Joseph. Joseph was a descendant of King David. Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Who, who are you and what kind of greeting is that? Don't be afraid, Mary. The Lord is very pleased with you. And guess what? You are going to become pregnant and have a son. You will name him Jesus. He will be great and be called the Son of God. He will inherit the throne of his ancestor, King David. But I don't understand. How is that possible? I'm not even married yet. The Holy Spirit makes this all happen because the child is holy. In fact, he is the Son of God. And just so you know, I'm telling the truth. You know your cousin Elizabeth, who is too old to have a baby? Well, she's six months pregnant because nothing is impossible with God. What can I say? I'm God's servant and I will do whatever God calls me to do. After Gabriel had left, Mary had to go see the miracle of her cousin's pregnancy for herself. So she hurried to the town in the hills where Zechariah and Elizabeth lived. 
As she entered the house, she called out to her cousin. Hello, Elizabeth. I heard you're pregnant and I came to see for myself. And now I know it's true. Oh my goodness, I think I need to sit down and catch my breath. Just now, when you greeted me, the baby in my room jumped for joy. And so, I know that you are blessed. You are blessed because you trusted that God's promise would come true. I'm bursting with God news. I'm dancing the song of my Savior. God took one good look at me, and look what happened. I'm the most fortunate woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. The God whose very name is holy, set apart from all others. His name, his mercy flows in wave after wave on those who are before him. He barred his arms and showed his strength, scattered the bluffing braggarts. He knocked tyrants off their high horses, pulled victims out of the mud. The starving poor sat down to a banquet. The calluses were left out in the cold. He embraces the chosen child, Israel. He remembered and piled on the mercies, piled them high. It's exactly what he promised, beginning with Abraham and right up to now. Mary stayed with her cousin Elizabeth for three months, and just before Elizabeth's baby was due, Mary returned to her own home. About that time, Emperor Augustus ordered a census, which meant that everyone had to go to their hometown to be counted. Joseph and Mary went from Nazareth in Galilee to the city of David called Bethlehem. Mary was expecting a child, and when they got to Bethlehem, it was time for the baby to be born. Joseph, my belly is starting to ache. We need to find a place quickly. Oh, there's an inn up ahead. We can ask if there's room. Okay. Yes, we've been traveling a long distance, and my wife is heavy with child. Do you have any rooms to rent? I'm sorry, but the, all the rooms are full. Oh, what shall we do? You can stay in the bunker with all the animals. Oh, that would be, is it nice and warm and dry? Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be a good place. Follow me to the barn. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Isn't he wonderful? His name is Jesus. The angels told me to name him that. Yes, Jesus is the most amazing baby ever, the Son of God. Nearby there were shepherds living out in the fields with their flocks at night. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared and stood in front of them. Everything was bathed in a bright light, the glory of the Lord, and the shepherds were terrified. Don't be afraid. I'm bringing good news, joyful news for everyone. Today, a Savior, the Messiah has been born for you right here in the city of David. 
And just so you know, I speak the truth. You will find a child swaddled and lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by many other angels. All of them were praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. After the angels had left and gone back to heaven, the shepherds huddled to talk things over. Come on, guys. Let's go to Bethlehem and see for ourselves this thing the angels told us about. Mom, let's go. <laughs> when the shepherds arrived in Bethlehem, they found the stable where Mary and Joseph and the child were sheltering. When they saw the baby lying in the manger, they were filled with joy. Wow, it's really true. Excuse me, who are you and why are you here? We're shepherds and we just were out on our fields watching our sheep when suddenly some angels showed up. At first we were frightened out of our wits, but, they, but then they told us not to be afraid. Then they told us the Savior of the world has been born and that we should come to Bethlehem. They said we would find baby Jesus in the stable. And it's true! <clears throat> God is truly doing some amazing things. I will treasure all your words and ponder them in my heart. We should get back to the field so our sheep can graze the field some more. May the peace be with you. 
After the shepherds had gone back to their fields, singing a song of praise to God for the birth of Jesus the Messiah, Magi from the east followed a special star to Jerusalem to see for themselves the marvelous thing God had done. Hello everyone, I'm the big bright star the Magi followed to baby Jesus. Follow me to baby Jesus and you will see him too. Excuse me, do you know where we can find the child who has been born, King of the Jesus? We star a special star rising so we know he has been born. Yes, go to Bethlehem oh. and you will find him. Bethlehem in the land of Judah are by, by no means last um, among the rules of Judah, for from you shall come a rule, rule who is not Bethlehem in the land of Judah, are by, by no means last um, among the rules of Judah, for from you shall come a rule rule who is not suffered my people in Israel. Go! Quickly! Get those magi who come here from the east. I would like to speak to them. <laughs> yes, my lord. I hear you've come here following an unusually bright star star in order to find the baby born to be king of the Jews. I too would like to worship him. So I ask you to return and tell me once you have found him. As you wish, your majesty. Hi there, remember me? I'm the bright, shiny star that appeared when Jesus was born. The Magi are still following me, and you can come along too. And while we're traveling, I hope you join in on singing my favorite song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. <laughs> The star has stopped. <gasps> this must be the place. Greetings. We followed a very bright star to find the baby king. And we have brought gifts to honor him. Gold. And frankincense. And myrrh. We know that he is the Messiah, the savior of the world. But, but we must go now. So please, please stay safe because Herod is plotting something really evil. God came to us in a dream and told us not to go back to Herod. So we're gonna go home on a different road. Thank you very much. May God bless you and keep you now and always. Now we have seen for ourselves, and we know that God is with us, for this child is truly the promised one. He is Emmanuel, which means God is with us.
Oh, Scooby, why are you crying? It's a happy story. Huh? It's okay, old turtle. I'm crying because I'm filled with joy and it's just spilling out. It's just spilling out of my eyes. I just oh can't hold it in and I don't want to. Oh, I, I think I understand. That happens to me sometimes too when I'm so, so happy. I just can't hold it in. Um, and I get it too. It's been such a hard year. And so hearing the story of Jesus' birth is just, it's, well, it's everything. It and, is. Yeah, when we remember that God is with us, that's the most important thing. And it can get us through anything. And you know, those kids did such a great job. They really, they really did. They really did. It was fabulous. Yeah, it was so good. It was so good. And we can get through anything now. I just feel we so uplifted. We um, can. We can even together. get through a coronavirus Christmas. Yes, yes, we can. Yes, we can. You're right, old turtle. The true gift of Christmas <gasps> is, oh. say it with me now. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Emmanuel, God with us, now and forever! Yay! Yay! Merry Christmas, old Merry turtle. Oh, Merry Christmas, Scully. Oh, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to all our friends out everyone. there. Everyone. Yeah, God bless you all. Aww.